in an earlier video I showed an amplifier that can amplify signals from 0 0.8 volts to approximately 10 volts up to 15 volts. And here you see how I finally made that circuit. It's made in uh, the way I always make my circuits, uh, with brass nails, on wood, etc. But uh, you can find that in another video on my channel. Here is the inner side from the circuit. This is the power supply. Transformer, it gives 20 volts AC. This 20 volts is doubled by this voltage doubler with two diodes here and here the capacitors and here is the 1000 microfarad capacitor that finally gives a good uh, DC voltage. Here is the internal generator. It makes um, a sawtooth wave but that's changed a lot by other components. Here is the Darlington amplifier and here are all the switches on the back side from the front. Uh, I want to demonstrate now how this amplifier works. It's also in the preceding video but now I want to pay more attention to the circuit itself. This is the transformer. It generates 20 volts AC at the output. I connected the LED to show that the circuit is on directly to the AC via a resistor from uh, 2K7. And here you find the voltage doubling circuit made with two diodes and two capacitors and this is the 1000 microfarad capacitor that gives um, sufficient um, and well uh, smoothened DC voltage without ripple. These resistors prove to be necessary because the Darlington circuit here um, uh, doesn't have too much, must not have too much voltage on its collector. So the voltage, the supply voltage, where the whole circuit works is limited. Here we can set a working point from the Darlington circuit. This is the output potentiometer. It's here, it's 100K, and in fact it's this potentiometer, 100K. I uh, use a 100K output potentiometer and also a 100K input potentiometer. That's this one. Here we feed the signal in and here we take the amplified signal out. Um, this is the switch with which you can switch between the internal generator and an external source and that can be for instance an audio generator like this sine wave or this uh, square wave or triangle wave. This is the internal generator. Um, in fact it's a multi vibrator circuit. It's in my books you can find the circuit on the, in my books on the Lulu website. And we um, change the biasing voltage from these two uh, transistors. And that means that we can get um, a substantial frequency range between approximately 784 kHz and 22 kilohertz. So that's the range from the built-in generator. That's here. 
it's all very easy to make by the way um, well continue with the description of the circuit this is the voltage doubler here we find approximately 30 volts up to 34 volts and the Darlington amplifier is supplied with that voltage so we send in here uh, a signal by the internal generator or some external source and by the way the internal generator is supplied via a 7812 um, chip it's a voltage regulator and here we find 12 volts and at the input from the 7812 we find uh, approximately 30 volts so it stabilizes the output voltage that necessary for um, a good and stable frequency range this describes how you can get to uh, lower frequencies in fact we always have 50 nanofarad here and 15 nanofarad here and that's the highest uh, frequency band that we can reach but we bypass this capacitor and this capacitor at the same time by capacitors from a higher value so now the final demonstration here you see um, square wave generator also a triangle wave generator now I switch the circuit to the triangle wave and here you see how the Darlington amplifiers amplifier uh, amplifies the triangle wave now I change the working point so I think to demonstrate the how uh, the amplifier uh, amplifies the triangle wave is more interesting compared to how the amplifier amplifies a square wave because that's always linear so these are the settings from the amplifier regarding the triangle wave now I switch to the sine wave this is how the amplifier amplifies the sine wave but I have to say this is only linear for frequencies from 5 or 6 kilohertz and more uh, below 5 kilohertz there's no linear amplification so now I change the working point again from the Darlington amplifier and the output is approximately 10 or 15 volts sometimes uh, tw uh, 20 volts this depends a little bit on the waveform and you can see that it amplifies linear on this high frequency now I switch to a lower frequency on the sine wave oscillator and here you can see that this amplification is not linear I uh, change the working point now so this is yeah, a little bit linear but you can see that this part of the wave is not equal to this part of the wave so in fact it's not a linear amp amplification this is uh, approximately uh, 600 Hertz so this is how the amplifier amplifies uh, we go to a low frequency sine wave 60 Hertz change the time base and here you can also see that the waveform is not purely amplified but it's uh, it's useful that's my opinion about this circuit now we switch to the internal generator this is the built-in generator in fact it's a um, Saltus generator but due to the capacitors etc there is uh, an effect of I uh, hope I can demonstrate it 
this is a sawtooth signal, but it is um, changed, the waveform is changed by the um, integrator circuit. So this, these are also frequency frequencies that you can and frequency waveforms that you can expect. I change the working point again now. And here you see that the sawtooth wave can be changed into other waveforms. So necessary or useful for all kinds of experiments. So I hope this is a good demonstration from the circuit. And as far as I can see, uh, everyone interested in electronics can make this circuit and use it for all kinds of applications. Show the circuit again one time. These are the pin connections from the used transistors. And I wish you luck.